Hey guys, Westrick here to talk to you about my most recent gun show that I was able to go to this month here. So, hadn't been in a very, very long time, probably more than a year, and I was extremely, extremely disappointed. Went with my buddy Owen, and he was able to get some cool stuff, but the stuff that I was looking for wasn't there. I got to see my good friend uh, Diego, who uh, appeared in my video where I was shooting the Sturmgewehr, the 22 and the P1 and all that stuff. He's in that video. So I saw him. I hadn't seen him in a long time. Uh, found out a couple of the older guys that sold the surplus stuff there. One of them unfortunately passed away. Uh, his nickname was Barry. He was a real, real nice guy. You know, I'd, I'd seen him at all the shows that I'd been to. And then an older gentleman, I forget what his name is, uh, he had a heart attack, so he wasn't there either. And then a guy that I'd gotten a bunch of helmets from named uh, Cipriano, he wasn't there either. So just uh, for me, it was a real disappointing show. I mean, pretty much no surplus stuff at all. I mean, there's some ammunition pouches and like some, some tactical stuff, but not the, the stuff, you know, that I'm, I'm looking for. Like uh, even there's this uh, old Russian guy that goes there every show. He's a former MiG pilot. He flew the MiG-17 and MiG-21, and he was like a sports champion of like 1959. Um, he just had some pins and stuff, like before he, has, he had uh, berets and all that stuff. But he had like, did some Nazi pins and then some Soviet pins, but no berets or anything like that. Just real disappointed. Didn't buy anything at the show. I mean, nothing. I didn't get ammunition. No nothing. So, you know, but it was still cool. I was able to go with my buddy Owen, and uh, he was able to get some, some cool stuff. There was some cool stuff for me to look at there. Um, interestingly enough, um, at the show, there was a guy that had two of these uh, FN 1922s, like the one that I've got on load here, this, this beautiful, beautiful piece right here. One of them had the, uh, the Waffenops, like this one, but unlike this one, it had the, the plastic grips with FN, and then there was a post-war one without any, uh, any sort of markings or anything like that. And uh, the price seemed pretty reasonable. We wanted 300 for them. There's a uh, one thing that I was super tempted to get was there was a guy with a CZ52 for $325. But you know, given my current uh, situation, I wasn't able to put money down on that. I'm going to be getting something sweet here, hopefully, uh, you know, sometime soon. Just uh, that'll be a little bit of a surprise for later. But I was super super tempted to get that CZ-52, but I held myself back. I gotta save money for other stuff, other more pressing things. And, you know, I don't need another pistol right now, especially not a CZ, which uh, ammunition for that's extremely expensive. The cheapest ammunition in the Tokarev caliber is like about $22 for a box of 50, so it's real expensive. So for this guy right here, the 32 ACP, I can get a box of 50 for $15.99 and for 380 ACP for my Burst of Thunder, it's about the same price. So, you know, just uh, happy with this guy right now and just, you know, I don't, I don't need another handgun. I need to save the money for other stuff. But, uh, so it was, it was, uh, it was really a, a bust for me, but, uh, my buddy Owen made out pretty good. You know, maybe uh, make a video with him later on about the stuff that he got. So, you know, disappointing show for me, and no, pretty much no surplus. I mean, there was some, like, uh, I think there was maybe, like, a BDU top that I saw, like, mostly newer stuff. And, uh, but mostly, there's a lot more crap at the gun show. There's, like, people making wind chimes and selling gutters and hot tubs and a bunch of non-gun-related stuff. So, I mean, that was kind of pissed me off a little bit Owen oh, too but you know I guess people uh, want to diversify you know people that aren't going there to just buy guns like maybe a spouse or a girlfriend or something tagging along with whoever you know finding something for them so uh, not not a great show for me especially after I, I uh, hadn't gone in a while uh, the cool thing is I did get to see my my friend Diego and uh, there was a guy with a few Arsenal AKs, which was pretty cool. He did an Arsenal AK in the 5.56, but uh, that's definitely way 
outside my price range and I'm fine with the NPAP for right now. Uh, took a look at, uh, at some optics and stuff like that, but all in all, show was a was a bust. But um, one cool thing that did happen to me recently was I did get a, a cool knife for about you know twelve dollars. So so I I like this. You know it's a it's a nice knife. So I uh, definitely got more exciting videos coming down the pipe. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. And as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't checked out the Facebook page, make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching.